Dear students, we have started working on Microsoft PowerPoint and we have discussed in the last module that how we can add slides and effects to the slides using different templates. So today we will be focusing on design ribbon and in this design ribbon we will be focusing on three different components known as design themes, slide size and format background. So let's start the practical. So we have the same uh, document which we prepared in the last module and this contains such kind of one, two, three, four, five slides and different sections. So let's move on the design tab. As we discussed that in the home ribbon, this was the only new thing which we have learned as compared to Microsoft Word. And then in the insert tab, almost all of the things are uh, similar. So that's why we moved to design tab quickly. So here are different design templates available which can be applied to your uh, slide. So for example, you can see that how it looks. Wow. So it has different variety of possibilities like the main word would be like this. This is a new thing. So such kind of templates you can Get. For example, this is a new template. So always try to select some uh, professional template when you're working in a professional environment. So such kind of templates are not so, so much professional. Uh, if you are presenting something uh, to your colleague, then it's fine. But uh, as a professional uh, training, you must learn that what are those uh, professional templates available in this design so for example this could be this could be a good one and professional one so you can see that all of the slides have been shifted to contain that particular template or theme so that theme has been applied to all of the slides so you will see if we execute by f5 so you can see that uh, other slides have a little bit uh, difference as compared to the master slide. So the main slide uh, has a little bit difference over here, but next slides will give you more place, more space to add more content. And then you can variate the color from variants. So for example, the theme is the same, but you want a little bit change in the color so you can go with variety of colors over here so you can see that things are being changed at the background then you can also change the fonts you can also play with the effects if you want and you can also set the background like you can see the background of all of the slides have been changed right so let's change a little bit kind of this thing. So this is available and then you can set the size of the slide. So for example, uh, if you select ensure fit, so this means that the slide will be fitted to one particular page. Uh, this was a similar option available in Microsoft Word as page fit and then you can also go with other options like the standard one right or widescreen so it is now a little bit wider uh, to more focus so this is basically something to view only so this wide doesn't mean that when you are going to execute this slide it is being uh, more wide so it is mainly to focus uh, yourself to add contents and of course your uh, screen will remain the same but the, uh, the uh, font and other things will be a little bit adjusted to feel that there is more content available and then you can also format the background so for example if I add at the background some picture or some texture so you can see that i have added this one 
and if I want to apply to all of the slides so I have done it so let's see now how, how it looks right so that's it from the design um, ribbon based on the themes variants and customize and different inside different options which we have tried so let's summarize today's module we have learned about the design ribbon and there were number of options available in this design ribbon we have selected different themes we have selected different variants based on the colors and background and we have also set or format the background of the whole whole slide so this is how you can make your slides more impressive using this ribbon. So in the next um, module, we will be coming back to you with uh, animations and transitions which you can apply on your slides and on your content.